I did, man. I did. I had a great time. Yeah, yeah. I was in in Washington, uh, volleyball tournament with my daughter, her team. It was fun, man. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. It's on the club team uh, around here, Oregon Juniors. It went good, actually. It went good, actually. Played in a tournament. Uh, I can't even. I don't even know the name of the town I was in in Washington, but uh, it's close to Seattle, like 30 miles from Seattle. But they did good. It was fun, man. I love that stuff. I love that stuff. I, I miss it from my old daughter who played soccer. So going to those tournaments and three games a day, running around the town, you know, it was fun. I, I loved it. Your kids and your family pretty well at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Everybody's good. Yeah. 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 My, uh, my other two is grown, man. I hate it too. I hate it, man. No, I didn't, man. I just really told them to enjoy themselves and be careful whatever they did. But uh, I know the young guys stuck around and all worked out every day, um, which I understand that too, you know. Um, but yeah, I just really just kind of told them, you know, go enjoy yourself, man. You know, uh, season is long, man. It's a grueling season, so go take a few days off. Yeah. Well, I did in particular the times when I was in the All-Star game because I always, that was our biggest complaint is I'm saying like, All-Star break is for everybody, but the All-Stars don't get the break, you know? So um, it's much better set up now that they get a few extra days. So uh, that's pretty cool. I watched, um, I watched the dunk contest, unfortunately. And uh, I mean, I could have went up there and missed as many dunks as they did. I could have done that. I couldn't have made a dunk, but I could have missed the same amount. But I watched that. Um, and then I watched the second half because I had my iPad while, you know, my daughter's games were going on. So I watched the second half of the, the All-Star game, which I usually don't watch the All-Star game um, until the fourth quarter. And I was, I was really, in, I was, I was I enjoyed it, man. I was entertained. Steph put on obviously a unbelievable show, and uh, that was fun, man. I, I, was, I was happy to watch that. You watched the semifinal stuff. Yeah, halftime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a chance to talk with Dame about like what it was like to be a part of that and kind of have that. Yeah, I did. I talked to him a little earlier today, and we were just talking about it now. Um, he was just. You know, he, he was he was just so thankful and grateful to be a part of it, man. Um, and it's just funny him just kind of talking about, uh, you know, just being around all those great players in Jordan, you know. And I, and I know from experience just being around MJ, like, no matter who's there, it's MJ and it's just everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think he kind of experienced that. It was We laughed about that a little bit. I know. That's kind of the mystique about him. You never see him. The they did the, like, right until they did the All-Star game in Chicago and he was yeah. in Chicago. See, that's crazy. That, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was but that was really neat watching and looking at that and uh seeing all those guys be celebrated. That was that was neat. That was neat. You don't see those guys, so just to be able to see them, you know, was pretty cool, you know, most of them. So Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, first of all, it was unfortunate for Dennis, you know. Uh, I want to definitely talk about that first. I thought Dennis Dennis came here uh, in training camp, and he was really just kind of looking for an opportunity to show that he belongs. And I said it all, training camp, like, this dude, is he's the best player in the gym a lot of days. He earned his spot. And I think we all seen, the fans, everybody seen what he what he did for our team this year. Had some great moments. I thought one of his best games was just not too long ago against the Lakers. And then, unfortunately, you know, he gets hurt. Um, and that, that was just a tough blow, you know. So you feel bad for Dennis, but I'm also happy for Dennis because he not only showed us, but he showed the rest of the league that he's, he's, 
you know, he's qualified to be in the league, you know, and be playing. So happy that he was able to establish that. Um, and then with Trendon, you know, I just love to see people get what they deserve. And Trendon, from the day I talked to him when we called him right after the draft, um, he was hungry, you know, and he promised that he's going to come and do everything that he could. Um, I'm happy that he's gotten an opportunity to actually show that he can play and he can ball. And I'm glad that it worked out for him. You know, he got what, what he earned, you know, everything he got, you know, during that time. So happy that he's with us long term, you know. Um, he's going to continue to get better and better and better. And so I'm happy to have, have Trendon locked in. Yeah, I, I think we was lucky to be able to get a guy like that at a time like this. Um, played well in San Antonio. They love him there. You know, I talked to a few people in the organization. They love him. You know, um, they hated to lose him. And uh, I just feel like for us, you know, to have some depth at that spot, have some athleticism at that spot, um, and he's played, he's played some game. Like he's not a he's not a rookie. Now he knows the NBA game, the cadence of the league. Um, hometown kid too, so that, that that helps. Even though we were interested in him anyway, so I'm happy to have Drew. Um, I think he'll catch on just fine, and I think the way that we play is kind of the way that he plays. He plays his butt off. He plays hard. Um, he plays with some with some toughness out there. So I'm I'm excited to coach him. I really am. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the mentality that you're passing on to these guys as you start the second? Well, yeah, I told the guys today. I mean, look, we 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 ended the break on a on a real high. I mean, playing some beautiful basketball. Um, we're getting better. You know, we're learning how to play, how to play with one another. Um, and we need to pick just pick that back up. You know, part of coming back out of All Star is not just physically kind of getting your legs back in shape, but you gotta, you gotta get to keep your mental space in shape to what we've been trying to do. And so for us, we're just gonna keep playing hard and, and seeing, you know, seeing how, how good we could do, uh, to be honest with you. So um, we'll, we'll have a good practice tomorrow and, and get ready for the next game. No, I haven't. I've talked to him about a lot of things, to be honest with you. Um, just seeing him in here working every single day. Uh, you know, I was here really early today, and he was already here and here working. So, no, I haven't talked to him about that, but um, I do, you know, he, he's, he's doing better. He's doing better, and that's all that really matters, you know. Man, I think it's next week. I lose track, man. <laughs> I lose track, to be honest with you, Aaron, but um, I just. I think he's making progress, which is, which is the big concern, you know. Is he still not going up you guys? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to go on the road, but I think, you know, he'll start being more around the team, you know, uh, coming back around more. So that'll be good to have him around. Good? So, sorry. So Smith is gone. He was perfect. So Hart was kind of a backup point guard. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully, well, he's out right now still. But you know, we signed Brandon Williams' uh, kid to now replace Trenton on the two-way, and uh, I'm I'm happy about that because when he was here, I didn't I hadn't even met him yet. But I had COVID when he was here, um, and the coaches fell in love with him, and I watched him obviously when he was here, but when he went back to his team. This kid was playing incredible basketball, so um, happy to you know have him back. But hopefully Bledsoe's not too far off, and also Keon. Um, so we'll 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 start getting some bodies back here. A lot of times in the contract guys fill their roster, they get to play. But I'm this guy. Are they gonna play? They're young players. They're gonna be out there like everyone else. Yeah. He's talking Elijah Poole. He was out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my intention is to play them um, because to me, I, I I need to see I need to see what they can do. You know, um, I want to see what they can do. Uh, can they help us? How they can play? Um, 
I don't think it's fair. A lot of times that you get a 10-day guy and you don't even let him play to show if he can actually give you something. So, um, yeah, yeah, Drew's, Drew's going to be, he's going to be out there. He's going to be out there.